Okay. I have a very unpleasant and unconventional idea that I'm sure you've already thought of. Have you thought of that? Okay. When it goes where it goes, is it mostly in the same area? Mostly. It's on top of my chimney. Okay. Have you thought about putting a clanging thing of some kind up there that would make its own noise and scare the bird away like an oral scarecrow? Yeah, I don't want to get on my roof. So anything that involves me being on my roof. Have you thought about shooting it up there with a wrist rocket? Yeah, from the ground, Mm -hmm. then yeah, whatever. But I I don't want to get, and I did think of that. Think of, because there's lots of things you get, once you're up on the roof, you have the entire range of things that scare a bird that you can do, whether they are passive, as Mm -hmm. in just statues of things or outlines of things, or semi-active, where there are things you put up there that are meant to blow in the wind, like wind chimes and pieces of tinfoil that flap in the wind and other things that are supposed to keep the birds away. Or like you're suggesting, actually active, where there's some kind of electronic thing that you control that when the bird is there, you hit a button and something happens to scare it away. Waterproof, water-resistant Bluetooth speaker. Oh, I don't think a speaker would do it. I think you would have to physically hit the See, I'm thinking of a clangity clang clang. It's sort of like that thing you use when you got a weather station, the little three spoons that spin around, like a, mm-hmm. like a weather vane. Yeah. Like, what if you had something like that, except... <laughs> getting a little bit Rube Goldberg, except it's pounding on a piece <laughs> like, of sheet metal. It's like a big boot. Kang, big boot kang. on a stick. <laughs> okay, the... so wait a minute. So the baby crawls under the candle. Mm-hmm. That causes the string to break. The, the hammer, the cat, the hammer, pops right? the balloon. And then the cat runs into the dominoes. <laughs> you could basically turn your home into an OK Go video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, <laughs> see, the way, the way my past life experiences and the way my mind works, um, it's very difficult to dislodge it from projectile-based solutions. Because A, I like that thing. I spent half my childhood making projectile devices to destroy things, mostly shooting cans, but still. Mm-hmm. Uh, and B, it just seems like so much more fun and satisfying to have my feet firmly planted on the ground and to use my human ingenuity and opposable thumbs to make machines. This is a terrific going- use of, this is a, in so many ways, this is a terrific use of tools. You're using, you're, you're using technology as available. You are minimizing your amount of, uh, of, of danger and peril by not having to climb something. Mm-hmm. You are applying a very, uh, you're part of a rich human tradition of using all the best reasons to use a tool for this. If you shoot something at this with a wrist rocket, I think you, you are a very evolved person. Yeah, so the the only thing keeping you from that is I haven't actually pulled the trigger to order a wrist rocket, which is which apparently looking, I can do as an looking adult right now. Right, and the yep. other thing is, uh, so I'm not going to hit it with the, the first hundred tries to hit the thing. Right, you might so have to take I, some time off and practice for a while. Right, uh, what I'm worried about is the overshot. Like, so you miss high, the, now your projectile is falling up into the air. Depending on what angle I take on this thing. There's really no safe place for this parabola to terminate. It doesn't include like uh, neighbors' houses, neighbors' windows, or neighbors' cars. That's what I'm thinking. Or or like neighbors' kids. You can experiment. I believe that you can and should experiment with different kinds of projectiles. So I, I know none of these is perfect. I think the obvious solution it feels like is to shoot a pebble at it. It doesn't yep. need to be that hard. It could be, and why do I say, I was going to say a spit wad. You don't want a spit wad, though, because then it's going to stick up there. And now you get mm-hmm. back to the problem of having yeah, to get it on the roof. Yep, yep. You don't want it to necessarily be um, a rubber ball, because now that's going to... What I'm trying to say is, you could shoot something, you could shoot a peanut. You could shoot a peanut at that bird. And now, I don't know if you have any kind of nut allergies. You could shoot a small <laughs> piece of fruit. You yeah, could I shoot... I was saying, if that lands on a neighbor kid, and they go into anaphylactic shock. Anaphylactic shock. Like shock. The, yeah. All right, so... You guys are prepped for this. You're gonna have to get you have to get some of those things you plunge into your you leg. Get a you get a bean of some kind. Or they I think a navy bean. bean. You can have a navy bean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want something that splatters, and you don't want something that's gonna ricochet. Well, yeah, you need something with some integrity because the wrist rocket will just will just turn it into you know a, a, a cloud of fine bean paste if you don't get something <laughs> that's enough. Fried bean shot. Yeah. I think that's not a bad way to go. And also, let's be honest, it is a terrific excuse to buy yourself to a rocket. To get a rest rocket, rocket Oh, yeah. my God, I'm looking right now. I think, let's see if they got them on Amazon Prime. No, they don't have it on Prime, but you can get it. What are we looking at? The B-52. Oh, look at that. The B-52 slingshot. Six dollars. <laughs> what a great, what a great, so uh, culturally relevant name. Outdoor, pro- B- Daisy Outdoor Products, B-52 slingshot. It's culturally appropriate, yeah. Yellow and black, eight inch. Look at that. See, the one from the, Walmart? Is that what you're looking at? <clears throat> I'm looking at the one here on the Amazon. You might want to, I wonder what the nicest wrist rocket you could get is. Put a URL on it. Oh, and look at that steel slingshot ammo. <laughs> you can get a box of ammo with it. Hunting slingshots. Oh, sister. 
Oh, I need these. <gasps> Look at this one. Aluminum alloy hunting slingshot, high velocity hunting catapult. Look at this. This is six bucks. Six dollars and 47 cents. You get a wrist rocket. You could probably get it before the weekend. Oh, you should do that, John. Look at this one. This one's going I paid a lot more than six bucks for the windows that are on my house. And all I can see is myself breaking one of the windows on my house with a bad shot. But there's so much. You, you're a man who's been to college. Think about it. You take mm -hmm. something, you get a high precision instrument. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. It's a weapon. But it's a tool, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you can use a hammer as a weapon or a tool. You know, Hakuna Matata. You get the right one of these wrist rockets and then you get smart. <laughs> Maybe you put on some camo makeup. You go down to the <laughs> range and you work. You experiment with your very particular set of skills, trying different kinds of, if I could say, payloads. And here I'm looking at the x -Best aluminum alloy hunting slingshot, high velocity hunting catapult with quality rubber bands. It's got three rubber bands on each side. 2446 adding to cart. Yeah, that looks like... That's some serious business. This is there. like something you would see. You know, you ever go to those things in scouts. Like you go to like the uh, the police have a table somewhere and they show you drug paraphernalia and like homemade mm -hmm. weapons. This is exactly mm -hmm. the kind of somebody would make a bong out of this. This this looks very deadly. <laughs> Adjustable hunting laser <laughs> slingshot, high velocity oh, catapult. No lasers. Oh look at this one. It's got built in. Uh, it's got a built in knuckle buster. One of these you can get it with a uh, with it looks like brass <laughs> knuckles with rubber bands on it. Thirty nine dollar one does indeed have a laser. <laughs> I just love the idea, though, of you coming out with the theme from Patton playing, bah, 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 and you you come out and you we got camo makeup on. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. I was making these things out of a Y-shaped stick and, and a cut-up inner tube. I didn't have no lasers. Nope. Didn't need it. Not you. you made your own fun, um, then. Play uh, Ice Cream Man. You, <laughs> just set up those, those soda cans and get a bunch of gravel, mm -hmm. and that's an afternoon. Mm -hmm. 